So suppose a stock drops in value by 60% one week and then increases in value the next week by 75%. Is the value higher or lower than when it started? So this is, uh, an issue of combining percents and it's really tempting to say, oh, it drops by 60%, increases by 75%, it must be 15% up. Unfortunately, that's not the way percents work because the base changes in each case. So let's start, imagine that our, the value of our stock starts at $100. So at the end of the first week, the, the value drops by 60%. So we could either say, I have my 100% and I decrease by 60% of my 100, or in other words, I drop by $60, gives me $40. Or alternatively, we could have said that decreasing by 60% is the same as keeping 40%. So we could have said $100, I'm keeping 40%. Get to the same thing, but either way works. So here we go. At we af after the first week, the value has dropped by $60, by 60%, and we're left with $40 in value. So the next week, the value is going to increase by 75%, but the base has changed. We're now increasing by 75%, not of the original 100, but of the new value. And because the base has changed, the result is going to change. So 75% of $40 is only $30. So it turns out, after two weeks, the value of my stock is only $70. It is, in fact, 30% lower than where it started. Okay, and this is really important when you are shopping, for example, and, uh, you know, you see the, the items that are, you know, on clearance for 50%, and then the sign says, and this week, take an additional 50% off. Well, that doesn't mean you get it for free, right? Because they take the first 50% and then you, the second discount is 50% of that sale price. You end up paying a quarter. Uh, y you don't get it for free. So that's an important thing to remember that the base changes when you combine percents.